Hey guys, good to see you. Hope everybody's doing well. This week's lesson is our last lesson on digital citizenship. This is lesson five. And it is called When in Doubt, Talk It Out. And we'll talk about it in just a second. Hope you enjoyed lesson four. Like I told you, I think it's probably my favorite episode, episode favorite lesson of digital citizenship. Um, we talked about bullying. We talked about how you are, you can be a bystander, but we really would it'd be great for you to be an upstander. That's much better. Talked about trolling. Talked about all those things in lesson four. If you have not seen it, go back and watch lesson four. Okay, this is lesson five. We're going to start with vocabulary. We do not have very many at all for this lesson. So let's go through these. There are only four. Our first term, courageous. If you are courageous, you're brave. Not necessarily fearless, though, because people are especially brave when they're scared or they're nervous, but they take positive action anyway. So a courageous person or doing, if you do something courageous, um, doesn't mean you're not feeling fear. Doesn't mean you're not afraid. You're doing it anyway. A compromised account an online account that has been taken over by someone else so that you no longer have complete control over. So if something is compromised, it means basically it's, it's not yours anymore, right? It's been uh, compromised. That's the word. Student agency, a step beyond a student using their voice to speak up. A student agency is the uh, capacity to act or make change. Trust, strong belief that someone or something is reliable truthful or able. So I told you that would not be bad at all. Let's jump in. We are going to start our lesson. This is lesson five of the internet awesome from Google. When in doubt, talk it out. So let's get started. Two goals, recognize that seeking help for oneself or others is a sign of strength. And two, Think out loud together about situations where talking it out can really help. Okay. So let's just talk about that first one for a second. Recognize that seeking help for oneself or others is a sign of strength. Um, it's one thing to never want to do things on your own. or want others to do them for you. But it's something entirely different when you know your weaknesses and you know when you need help and you're not afraid to ask, right? That is a strength saying, I can't do this on my own. I'm going to ask for help. And that is something that a lot of people struggle with. Okay. Being able to say, this is not my strength. This might not be something I'm the best at. Maybe there's people that are better at this than me and I need help. And then we'll talk about thinking out loud together. So let's talk when to get help. In the course of talking about these five lessons of digital citizenship, the whole goal has been and is for you to, when you're on the internet, for you to be safe and be responsible and be the kind of person you wanna be, right? Just like in real life, you've heard the saying um, about, what you do when no one's watching. Being on the internet's the same way. Are you that kind of person on the internet, a good person on there, a good person in real life? So during all of this talk about digital citizenship, it's about being safe and being a good digital citizen. Well, part of being a good digital citizen is knowing what you don't know. If you don't understand something, if something's confusing, if you think you're in a place you shouldn't be or something's happening that shouldn't happen, knowing you can go and get help and ask someone, right? So let's look at these scenarios. Uh, I'm not gonna have you write about these. We're just going to talk about them, okay? Look at the first one. You had this feeling that your account may have been compromised, right? I mean, someone's hacked you or taken it over or knows your password. That's probably the most common thing we would see, right? Like maybe it's cool. You didn't log out of your account. Someone else got on, on your account and they were doing something they shouldn't have done. 
So what would you do in that situation? All right? Would you talk to somebody? I hope so. You need help remembering a password. Should you get help for that? Depends, right? If you, we do have to learn our passwords, but sometimes we need help. You were unsure whether someone, something was a scam or you thought you might've fallen for one. It's definitely a time you should ask an adult. Someone tried to discuss something online with you that made you uncomfortable. Again, definitely a serious time. You received a creepy message or comment from a stranger. You wanted to discuss something someone said online that was really nice or really mean. You were concerned you may have shared something online you shouldn't have. Only tell us what it was if you feel comfortable sharing that. But even if you don't, tell us what you did about it. You saw a peer being hurtful to another student online. You saw someone threatening to start a fight or harm someone. Someone posted a fake profile about another student. You were concerned about another student because of something they posted or texted. So I want you to think for a second, have any of these things happened to you? I think there's a pretty good chance they have at least one of them. Have any of these situations happened to you? Did you want to tell an adult? Did you feel like you needed to tell an adult to get help with it? Did you get help? What ended up happening? So I want us to talk about this week in our Zooms, if we've ever seen any of these things happening, All right? If we've experienced these, okay? So I want you to think about that as you watch this. Did any of these things ever happen to you? So some takeaways. We've went all the way through digital citizenship from sharing, being careful what we share, personal information, privacy, to bullying. Um, what have you learned during these lessons? Hopefully you have learned something. What have you learned from the games? Did it reinforce? Did it help teach anything to you that we talked about in the videos? Because um, remember we played Interland for each one of the first four lessons. Hopefully you've learned something, whether it's the importance of privacy, whether it's the fact that you don't have the right to expect privacy online, whether that it's okay for some things to be secrets, um, whether it's how to treat people. But we want you to come away from this safer, more responsible, and a good person in real life and a good person online. All right. So we're not going to talk about, or I'm not going to have you write this. I just want you to think about the most important thing you learned from today's lesson. Okay. The most important thing you learned from today's lesson. It wasn't a lot to today's lesson. We're, we're talking about today. What has happened where you felt like you would need help? Did you just try to do it on your own or were you willing to ask for help. And then we'll talk about those scenarios in our Zooms. All right, so we are all done today. This was not a long one. This was kind of wrapping it up and we will talk about these and I will see you uh, very, very soon. And we will talk about them. See you later.